Should everyone write a book? Why or why not? The answer is 100% yes. And you don't have to hire me. I'm just telling you right now, what happens from you writing a book is more than just the external factors. It's the internal factors. Because, okay, so if everyone should write a book, let me ask you this, though. Because I think everybody has the idea and the concept, well, they need to write their autobiography. Um, and I guess when you're looking at that, like, what's the if, if we should write a book, what's the right approach and the way to write a book? Because I know, like, with my book, I'm like, yeah, I'll write, like, a couple pages about myself. But it doesn't really seem like it's that important to, to kind of where I'm going. So I guess, how does that fix? I feel like everybody feels like they need to write their autobiography. and you know. Yeah, I wouldn't lead with the story. I would lead with the lesson, with what you're trying to okay. teach to another individual. And the question you should be asking yourself is, can I help someone else on this planet get to where I'm at now or overcome something that mm -hmm. I was able to overcome? And if the answer is yes, then what are you doing? It's your moral obligation. It should be your responsibility to help those. And Jim Rohn always says, be of service to the many, for service to the many leads to greatness. Lead with service, lead with the lesson. Whether it's figuring out how to overcome adversity or how to win a game in a video game or how to play a sport or how to get stronger or how to get faster or how to get arms like Jeremy, whatever it is. <laughs> you start off with the lesson and then you tie in the story. So what happens here, this is another factor to this. You start to analyze your life, where you were, where you're at now, and where you're going. And if you can articulate all three of those pieces in your life, you could become dangerous. You could become deadly. And as Jordan Peterson mm -hmm. does say, that it's your obligation, it's a luxury to pursue what makes you happy, but it's your moral obligation to pursue what is meaningful. When you help someone else get to another level in their life, that gives it your life meaning and it becomes contagious and you want more of it. And then you realize that by teaching, you become an influencer and now your life becomes a little bit more interesting. And so now you're a little bit weary of where you go, who you hang out with. So over time, you develop this character. You get chiseled into this new identity and the book becomes your moniker. You become this new version of yourself and then you lean back and you help more people behind you.